Well, hello there, YouTube. I hope everybody's having a good day. If there's anybody out there. It is a gorgeous day here and you'll have to forgive me. I am having some technical difficulties. I managed to unplug my computer just in time for my live. Yay. <laughs> so I'm going to try to run this from my phone for the time being. And um, so just be kind if you would, if you don't mind. Naturally, it's updating the system. Go figure. I tell you. Actually, this is funny that it's even happening because I almost completely forgot it was going to be happening. Hi, Kristen. How are you? Thank you for coming by. Hello, Miss Sharon. Hey, how are you? Happy Saturday, ladies. Yeah, I almost completely forgot I was doing this. <laughs> um, but I'm here and we'll get it done. Don't worry. We're going to have our um, $5 cash app giveaway and we're going to do our seed, um, seed giveaway. And I'll be sharing some information with y'all about the wonderful paprika pepper right after... I get this here set up. Um, right after. Oh. To be sure, can you guys hear me? Hey, Veggie Farming, how are you? Do you guys hear me okay? Okay. Can someone let me know that you can hear me or not? Uh-oh, then I'm doing something wrong. Okay, thank you, Veggie. All right, so this week we'll be talking about the exciting paprika pepper. <laughs> Maybe that's only exciting to me, but I did do a little bit of work on it. I wanted to be somewhat prepared. But before I get into that, so you know I do my seed giveaway for every um for every seed that we talk about for the seed of the week. And this past week I was looking to see which paprika peppers I had to give away. I looked and guess how many I had? Zero. So I had to, I had to go on a website and buy some seeds. <laughs> Honest to goodness, I did not plan it. But of course, you can't just buy one pack of seeds. So I bought many. <laughs> Since I had zero uh, paprika pepper seeds, I went ahead and I bought um, a whole bunch of them from a new seed place. It was called... Pepper Joe's, you guys ever bought from there? This is my first time buying from there. I know, Veggie, I know. <laughs> I honestly didn't plan it. Um, but Pepper Joe's, I never, never bought from there. This is my first time. And I will say, I don't know what the sea quality is like, but the packaging, not my favorite. It's very nondescript. There's no pictures on it. It um, just gives the name of the seed and the address for the place and the days to harvest. That's it. Nothing else. Doesn't tell you anything about it. Doesn't give you a picture or anything. I don't like that. I like it better when uh, like Baker Creek, even though theirs are huge and we're probably paying a big upcharge for having those big packets with the beautiful pictures and the nice printing and stuff. Um, I would rather do that than have these seeds. So that's okay though. I'll take care of that because the way I store my uh, seeds is in a, what do you call that? like a photo photo book type thing. So I'll just print out some photos and add the pictures to the packs. So Pepper Joe's, I think each pack cost me around, I wanna say 350 a pack. And it looks to me that there's 10 plus seats in every pack. So let me tell you what I got. Now I went on there for the paprika and I walked away with 10 packs. <laughs> Hi, my Renaissance grandma. Hello. Hey, Duval. Thanks for coming by. 
Yeah, I agree. I get motivated when it's, yeah, right? Yes. A picture says a thousand words. Be careful driving. Okay, so I got the go to chain. The go to chain. I don't even know why I'm showing you it because there's nothing to show you. And the type is too small to even read. But if you've ever had um, kimchi, that's the pepper they used for kimchi. It's a go to chain. So you got that. I got the alma paprika, which I've grown a number of times. So I'll be sharing these seeds with somebody today, whoever wins. I got the guayillo peppers. And um, I don't know if you've ever seen any of my videos where I mentioned that my mom sends me the ristra peppers. She lives in New Mexico. Those are the types of peppers that when you get the ones that have the long tapered peppers on it, those are guayillo peppers. So I got those. Although currently I have, what, three, three ristras hanging downstairs. So I don't need any dry ones right now, but I would like to have some of the um, fresh ones. I also got the loose shower paprika pepper. So I'll be sharing some of these with someone today as well. I got the griller pepper. Obviously, bread for the grill. Looks good. Never had it. Um, I got the Cairo Roxy. Some kind of Chinese pepper. Not sure. Uh, something called the Zavery. I didn't open the pack before I did this. I should have done that. Maybe I could have had something prepared to show you guys what it is and tell you what it is because... <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. I bought these seeds like a week and a half ago. They got here fast. I'll say that. Um, then there's the Fair Ozone Paprika. Another one I guess I'll be sharing today. I got the Healthy Pepper. I just like the name. <laughs> gardening is great. Hello. How are you? Urban Gardening Chronicles. Thanks for visiting. Did I miss anybody else? Nope. Okay. I'm just reading off a few of the peppers I had to buy and the Arbol chili pepper. So I'm all set to do my giveaway today, you guys. Um, and I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but those who have won from me before, well, in these past two seed of the weeks that I've done, um, I send you more than just that one pepper. I send you probably, my goal is always uh, five different varieties of seeds. So not only will you get your paprika, the peppers, but you'll get four other things as well. Alrighty. How's your guys' days going? It has been a week. Woo, when Friday came, I'm trying to tell you. I got some invites to go do some things, and I was like, no. No, all of those are not hot. Um, veggie farming. The healthy, pe healthy pepper is not hot. The griller is not hot. And paprika isn't especially hot either. The rest of them are though. Um, oh, I also wanted to tell you guys I seem to start every time by letting you guys know what else I put it to the ground here in Ohio Zone 6B. And this past week, I started seeds for Candy Tough. Um, if you don't know, what's her name? Miss Shirley OG Gardner. She sent me those seeds. She's here in Ohio, but she's about 45 minutes away, 45, 50 minutes away. Um, I put out some onion sets, just stuff I got from, I think it was the Dollar Tree. I don't even remember. I didn't, it wasn't a whole lot. I put out some various peppers, I'm sorry, potatoes that were in the uh, paprika pepper. That's what I need. I cook a lot with paprika. Me too. Me too. Um, I have a couple videos, two videos on how to make your own paprika pepper powder. And you don't actually have to have paprika peppers. You can use whatever you got. So last year I made a smoked paprika powder. I still have a little bit left, but not a whole bunch. And then the year before that, I just made a regular paprika pepper powder with uh, some sweet bell, red bell peppers and a couple of different um, red hot peppers. 
just to give it a little kick. Um, Wendy, nice to meet you. I don't think I've ever heard seeing your name before. Thanks for visiting. Hey, Jay, Jason with Jay. Thank you for visiting. So I put some pe pe uh, potatoes out today, or no, not today, on the 7th, which was about five days ago, I want to say. What's today's date? Not sure. They were all from the pantry. I was embarrassed. I, I'm, they were <laughs> they were very far along. <laughs> oh, I finally got the, <laughs> the uh, night bot to work and it's already kicking people out. I'll have to change something on there. Thanks for mentioning that, Veggie. I'm sorry, Jay. I don't know what happened. Um, yes, smoked paprika. You can make it yourself. It's really easy. I put out, I started some coleus seeds. I started some nasturtium seeds. Oh, it is your first visit. Okay, nice. I started some Black Eyed Susan seeds. And I started some teddy bear sunflowers. Wendy uh, Kipple, are you a gardener? Just curious. So that's what I got started this week. Well, in the past two weeks, over the past two weeks. And then today I was going to go out and put out my strawberries. I started my own strawberries from seeds. Uh, I got the seeds from in my gardener. And I'm doing the, I want to say Alpine and Yellow Wonder. Um, so I was going to get those out today. I don't know if I'll have time. And then I also have my wall of wonders. So I started three tomato plants. I know, I know it is way too early here in Ohio, but I'm trying out the wall of wonders. Supposedly, if you use the wall of wonder, you can put those out a solid six weeks ahead of time. Yes, you are. You've been gardening since 1989. Fantastic. That's wonderful. What kind of temps am I having right now? It is... 52 degrees. And it's been getting down in somewhere in the 30 to 40 degree range in the evenings. Um, but if you follow, uh, what's her name? Gina versus Gina. She's also in Ohio, but she's a little more Southern than I am. She's having temps in the evenings in the 40s. So she's about 10 degrees warmer than me. Um, so I'm gonna try out the wall of wonders. I got my three tomatoes. I'm putting it out there. And what those are, if you haven't seen them, is they are like these um, pillow type contraptions that you fill with water. And then during the day, they collect the heat from the sun. And then at night, they keep your tomatoes warm. And it kind of forms a conical shape, conical shape around it. And it'll keep your tomatoes warm at night and be able to open up in the morning and the daytime to get sun. And you should be able to set them out, theoretically, six weeks ahead of time. Hey, hands in the dirt. Thanks for visiting. So I'm giving that a try. I bought three of them and they were pretty inexpensive for three of them. I think it was like 20 bucks. And um, I already have my bed prepared. It's already amended. Everything's ready. Hey, J J3GS Farm. Thanks for visiting. Um, I got the soil all amended. So I'm going to give it a go. If it works, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. I figured... I was doing myself a service by um, starting tomato plants that are bred for the north. So I think I got, um, shoot, I forget. I I can't remember. There's three, three types of tomatoes that I uh, started that are supposed to be somewhat cold hardy. And I'm going to put those out there with those Wall of Wonders and see how it goes. Yeah, sounds interesting to me. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Dollar Tree has a cloche with a vent that you can control the heat and cool and use it over your tender plants. Yeah, I use those. Uh, I have a ton of them out there, but it didn't work so well for me in the uh, tomato area. It got too hot in there. I wasn't um, moving it off or opening it up soon, soon enough or whatever. The difference with the uh, wall of water is that uh, there is no top on it. So when it when you put it on there, it 
kind of leaves a hole on the top. So we'll always get some kind of fresh air. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, guys, hit the thumbs up, please. Okay. Um, and then as the past three weeks, Lydia and her wonderful self from over at Best Yet Journey is sponsoring a $5 cash app giveaway or PayPal, whichever one you want. So when we get to that point in the show, I will do whatever it is that the winner wants. If you want a cash app, that's fine. If you want a PayPal, I'll be able to do that also. Okay. Let me check here. Oh, Wendy, you've used the wall of water before? Yeah, I'm new to it. I, I've just now heard of it. Apparently it's been around for years, but I'm just now being privy to it. Surprisingly, though, I have, uh, what is it, some microdork tomatoes that I start. You are right, much better for the tomato plants. Yeah, um, I have some um, microdorks that I put out just to see, because I know like a couple years ago, I grew some microdork tomatoes, and they lasted well into the winter, like really well. I was surprised, and I thought, well, I'm going to put some out, see how they do. They are fine out there. I think I'm going to go ahead and put them in my uh, green stock and let them rip. I think they'll be fine. They'll get plenty of sun there. And then I have um, a frost cover in, in case of a frost that I can put over the green stock. But yeah, I think probably be in having a productive tomato plant, I would say by the first week of June. Because my um, micro dwarfs are really far along. They're the ink spot variety which came from this plant over here. I took a bunch of cuttings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Good, good to know it works, good to know. Um, Kristen Ladane, did you watch um, Awesome Awesomeness, Awesomeness Thursday over there with Mr. and Mrs. Potato, or Tomato Head this week? Man, these people are killing me. Y'all don't ever, well, I don't mean it, but I'm going to say it. Do not subscribe to this channel if you are into tomatoes. <laughs> and especially if you have no willpower, much like myself. I It's taking everything in me not to keep buying tomato seeds. I got more now than I could probably grow in my lifetime. But every this woman, she's doing like 10 tomato varieties a, a week where she's showcasing them and she's talking about them and who's it, who they're bred by, what they look like, um, all the characteristics and appearance. And man, my mouth, I'll be watching it and my mouth just be watering the whole time. And then I'm on my phone <laughs> searching for the variety, putting it on my wish list. <laughs> it's a, it's a nightmare, but I can't stay away. I can't, I'm addicted to it. Yeah. That's uh Mr. And Mrs. Tomato head, if you're interested. And then, Another lady named Jen Joy just came out with a video recently where she uh, showcased every variety of variegated tomato that she's ever heard of. And these are people who grow up to 400 tomato plants a season. Like, they're crazy tomato people. Um, so if she says it's, you know, 75 varieties of variegated tomato plants there's probably 75 variegated tomato plants. Anyways, it was interesting. A lot of them were really cute. You wouldn't believe how many uh, green one ripe tomatoes there are. I've not had one, but I'm growing one this same season, so I'll be able to give my opinion somewhat on what those are like. I typically only like, I shouldn't say only, I prefer the red or the high anthocyanin ones. I know what you mean by mouthwatering, right? <laughs> yeah. 400, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ram Rambo, I'm sorry, Rambo Green Hands. Hello, thank you for visiting. Yeah, oh my goodness. It's crazy, Wendy, it's crazy. Don't head over there if you don't have any willpower. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> You'll be spending a whole paycheck before you know it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you're in the bushes today? Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and listening. So I did get, as Jay found out, I got the Nightbot working. And I think if you type weather, it'll, it'll, or maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to my higher ups and ask them how to work this Nightbot thing. <laughs> I thought it would tell you uh, what the temperatures were like in your area, but I just did it and nothing happened. So I did do something right. At any rate, compared to my six tomato plants, that's a lot, right? I'm thinking I had in mind that I was going to do 18 plants, but I just got that. I avoid your, po your post, Rose. You will have me buying all kinds of seeds and stuff. <laughs> but that water wall, right? If it works, man, how exciting would that be? Especially for me. Uh, being here in Ohio, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was going to do 18 different varieties of tomatoes this time around. But then I just bought that, and it's almost set up. Tim and I are going to finish setting it up tomorrow. But um, it's called a bucket garden, and it holds another, what is it? One, two, three, nine, ten, eleven tomato plants is what the guy was telling me. He was super nice. And I got it off of, what was it? Facebook Marketplace. And it's huge. I, I My car, it was not going to fit in my little truck. So um, I says to the guy, how much to have you deliver it for me? And he goes, oh, you know, just throw me $20. I got to get it out of my yard. I go, okay. Yeah, you buy and see, make my collection look like that. <laughs> well, Good news is I'm giving away some free seeds today. So if you need some more, you got your chance today. Um, I got two types, I think, what was it? Two types of new pepper, paprika pepper seeds. And then I also like to throw in five other seeds with it. So uh, that's been at least what I've done so far with um, each winter. Hey, Gail, I'm going to be doing my video tomorrow for the spring, hashtag spring garden tour. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I've been meaning to get on it, but as you know, I'm here in Ohio and there's just not a lot out there to show, but I did put some stuff out there. So I thought it was be, especially since we're going to be putting together the rest of that bucket garden, I figured it'd be a good time to do uh, a video on that. Veggie Farming says she started about 18 varieties and just has to narrow it down to the strongest plants. I know, I know. Isn't it hard? Uh, you know, I watch some of these channels and these people do that high intensity planting and they start like 50 seeds in one little cup and then they thin them out. And I'm just like a little piece of me dies every time they rip one out. I'm like, how could you do that? <laughs> this chat is so awesome. I don't know how I got here, but I'm blessed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, so, uh, after the, Wendy, after the video is over, I'll go ahead and post in the description, the two videos that I did on how to make your own regular paprika powder or smoked paprika powder. You'll be shocked at how easy it is. I just had my husband do a biochar pumpkin pit. I've been hearing a lot about biochar lately. Now, I've been saving the ash from my fireplace, but it's not a whole lot. Um, and throwing that in the garden and seeing if that does anything, but I don't know that I saw seeing anything that I can attribute to that. Uh, I've got that same predicament with the tomato seedless, right? Yeah, too many varieties. Hey, Sam, how are you? Thank you for stopping by, sweetie. Um, so yeah, Wendy, those video links will be in the uh, description after the, oh yeah, no problem. No problem. 
I'm not much of a teacher, but I am trying to be somewhat helpful. You know, <laughs> there is one tomato I need to get this year to plant for next year, which is the persimmon tomato. I'll have to check my, um, let me write that down. I think I have the persimmon tomato. But I'll have to check my, uh, as soon as my computer comes up, I can check my um, seed inventory and let you know if I got it. If I do, I'll be happy to send you some. Who was that before I forget? Ram Blue Green Hands. And that was the persimmon tomato. Okay. Um, Rambo, I will go ahead and check my list, hopefully before the live is up, and I'll let you know if I have it. If I do, I'll be happy to share some with you. Heard good things about that. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Oops, sorry, guys. <sighs> All right. Oop. Oh, you're in the UK, not the USA. Oh, so I can't send you seeds there? Oh, I'm sorry. I was willing to do it if I could. Hey, girl, I'm with Hudson. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you, honey. Never heard of that one, Urban. Yeah, I'm 99% sure I got it. <clears throat> Technology is great when it works. When it's not, it's really annoying. <laughs> All right. Well, while that's pulling up. Let's see if we could talk about this paprika pepper and then get on with these uh, giveaways. I'm always worried that I'm gonna forget the giveaways and then I'll you know, have slighted you guys and I don't wanna do that. I've been in a live when somebody had announced they were gonna do this great giveaway and then they totally forgot about it and it was like the hugest letdown. It's a windy day, 10, 60 degrees here in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Ooh. I'll take 60. We haven't reached 60 today. <laughs> We're at 55 and climbing. <laughs> 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. I think I saw we're supposed to be up to 70 tomorrow. So, so tomorrow will be much better for me. Although I would go out there today. Actually, that was what I was planning on doing. And then I remembered I was supposed to go live. <laughs> Terrible world, terrible. Okay, uh, 72 and sunshine here. I really should be outside. <gasps> oh, how nice. 81 degrees in Texas. That's wonderful, Gail. Gosh, I haven't seen 81 in several months. <laughs> <clears throat> See if I can pull that up. Oh, that's a nicer temperature. Yeah. Hmm. It's been super warm, but you can trust the fake weather, right? 
They're promising some cold weather on Monday coming. Yeah. Um, generally around here, they say you don't put anything in the ground until after Mother's Day. And even then, you know, you're living on the edge. <laughs> Uh, Y'all keep me on YouTube with all the great lives and videos. I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> me neither. Me neither. And I feel so bad because like I'll go into some of these lives and I'll see a solid 20 names I never saw before. And I have a hard enough time keeping up with the people I do keep up with. <laughs> but we all do what we can, right? Uh, you finally hit 70 today and you desperately want to... My windows are open and it's already... It's only what 55 right now. I I have to. I had to. I'd love some fresh air. But I'm afraid that the spider mites will come back in again. Oh no, spider mites. Ooh, I hate those. Yikes. I just saw a video a couple of weeks ago from a guy who let um what was it? Uh ladybugs go in his house because his plants had aphids. And I was like, no, no. I know they're just ladybugs, but no, absolutely not. I, uh uh, uh uh. He like, like, I don't know, a thousand, ten, I don't know. It was some ridiculous amount of ladybugs go in his house. So I would have just thrown all them plates away if it were me. But he never did do a follow up video, by the way. He was like, oh, I'll let, I'll come back and let you guys know what happened. Cause it was like, it aired a while back. I went through his whole channel. There was nothing else. <laughs> Couldn't allow your life to pass me this week. Oh, thank you, Rambo. <laughs> you know what? I think I got to turn off night, but it's, it's doing a thing. Spider mites are the worst, aren't they? Crystals, pets, and plants. Hello, darling. Thank you for visiting. Yeah, they're the worst. Ugh. I don't like them. I have to say, as far as all, and I do a lot of growing in the house. Like right now I have probably 11 systems going. Um, I don't have a lot of issues with aphids or spider mites or whatever. Uh, but I'm also in a climate where they get killed off in the wintertime. It gets cold enough here. And my basement isn't especially heated, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sharon, I'm with you, right? I'm not. No, he let all of them. You should have seen them all. And I let, they're so cute. Like ladybugs are so cute. But he let them all go and they were just all piled on each other. And it just, I was like, oh, I started scratching. <laughs> like, I couldn't do it. You just got to throw them plants away. I'm sorry. I put them outside or something. Bye, you sugar. Thanks for coming in. I hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> All right. So I was going to see if um, you guys seemed really interested in that persimmon tomato. I was going to see if I have some extras and maybe we'll do a giveaway for some of those as well. Goodness knows I have enough seeds to share. I just need to make sure that um, I have enough of those seeds to share. I have a slug infection, infect, infection this year. Don't know what is going, but I got something for them. Yeah, um, I use that slug and snail bait every year. Um, my ground is just littered with slugs and snails, and it's just gross. Um, when it rains here, oh my God, you're just walking up. They're all over your car. You're walking, you're stepping on them. It's gross. It's gross. I don't know why they're so concentrated around here. Uh, was it in a cell worksheet? I think so. Um, yeah, I just bought once aphids, once the aphids get them, they can, 
they can have them. <laughs> I would say, yes, yeah, especially if it's in the house for sure. But like last year, the aphids uh, got on my dill, which I said, fine, you can have it. They got on my, um, what was it? My spilanthes, my toothache plant, fine, you can have it. But then they went after my collards. And I started just washing them off with water. That worked for about a month. And then before I knew it, it was so many of them. I had to pull them up off the mound. They end up winning every time. They took my radish and carrots already. This means war. <laughs> I was wanting to drop some carrot seeds. I just uh, recently came into a bunch of them. Okie dokie. <clears throat> So do you guys have um, a seed inventory tracker? Because that's what I got. That's how I know what I have. So and we were looking for the persimmon. No, it looks like. It looks like I probably have less than 10, so I would have to check the pack to see if I have any. I mean, I have them. I just don't know how many I have. It's not updated from last year. And I know I started some seeds last year. Um, yeah. All right. I've been planting all morning, going to plant some okra today too. I never had okra. It's pretty controversial out there. Some people are like, yay, and other people are like, whoa. <laughs> but I never had it. I know the flowers look awful pretty to me. They remind me of Rosa Sharon. I wonder if they're related. I don't, I'm always adding new stuff for my eBay and Amazon basket, oof. No tracker. I'm depending on memory and end up double buying. You know better, Veggie. You know better. Tisk tisk. <laughs> I have never heard of a seed tracker before. Very cool. Yeah, I have a whole like seed tracker in inventory. Um. Yeah, I love it because without it, all the seeds I got, man. Oof. And my memory is selective. <laughs> which means it doesn't work all that well unless I really wanted to. <laughs> all right. So here's the part of the show where I'm just going to slide on into this little presentation on the paprika popper. Let me just get rid of that ticker down there. Don't need that. All right. So the paprika pepper. I'm not that organized. I haven't even labeled my seed containers. Okay. So how's it? here's the thing about labels. I'm great about labeling things. Do they make them out to the garden? It's anybody's guess. What do I do with them? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And half the time, the ones that do make it out there, they get bleached by the sun. And I still don't know what I got out there. <laughs> I am, though, thinking, I've been, well, I've been thinking about it for like two years. And I have uh, a cricket. And I've been thinking about how I can make more semi-permanent um, labels for the garden for things that I definitely want to remember that I have, that I plan on saving seeds from so I don't confuse them with something else. Labeling is one of your projects for today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I give it that good old college try every year, but something always goes wrong. I already have, what, I maybe have 10 plants out there. Two of them are already mystery plants. I don't know what they are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. That is a gardener's problem, labeling. Yes, it is, Rambo. Yeah, I need to organize my seeds better, too. A good friend of mine gave me a good idea. Crystal, what's the good idea you got? Share, share. Um, 
veggie, are you using uh, plastic um, labels that you write on with a, like a Sharpie? Or are you doing something different? That's a great project with the cricket. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I was thinking that would be a better way to do it. That way it wouldn't um, get bleached by the sun. The water wouldn't affect it. I mean, I would literally have to go out there and scrape it off. So for the things that I really want to know that I have, I'll do, I'll do that. And there's like things that I grow habitually every year. So every year I grow the black cherry tomato. So I'm definitely going to do um, a cricket label for the black cherry tomato, or I always do um, Savannah hybrid mustards and things like that. I'll just go ahead and make some semi-permanent ones for that since I grow them every year, putting them in a photo album. Okay. Rambo says he planted cauliflower and it ended up getting sprouting broccoli. Just magic. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Guess I'll have a mystery gardening because labeling is not my strong suit. It's not mine either, but I just don't give up, Miss Sharon. I just don't give up. I keep trying. And a lot of times, I think, who is that that they say? Uh, T-Nock. One of the things that she says is um, the plant will show you who she is when she matures. And that's certainly true, but when you're growing, you know, 20 some odd varieties, some of them look alike. Yeah, no. And then if you're planning on sharing the seeds as well. I took a quick video after I planted in case I never get to it. I use plastic with a Sharpie and put tape over the writing. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Garden marker for the labels. They get buried and they don't wear off. Garden marker. Is that different from a Sharpie? Because they say Sharpies are permanent, and I can tell you, no, they're not. <laughs> no. Hermitage Home Gardener, thank you for visiting. I appreciate you. Oh, you laminated some of yours this year, some of your uh, labels this year. Gail, that's a great idea. I have to check out another one of your um, spring garden tours to uh, see what those look like. As long as it's only my garden and it's edible, I'll keep planting for sure. Yeah, different from a Sharpie. Okay, I'll have to look into that. <clears throat> All right, but the pepper, read the pepper. So there are several varieties or categories of the spice that overlap depending on how they're described. And those categories for the paprika pepper are hot, sweet, mild, smoked, Spanish, and Hungarian. Oh, did I miss somebody? Oh, I thought somebody said, David, if you're here, hi, David. Oh, he got blocked by Nightbot. <laughs> I'm going to have to um, undo Nightbot. Uh, Jessica's channel. Hi, Jessica. Garden mark markers are the best. I also used to use a Sharpie, but never again. Right on. I'm sure they sell them on uh, Amazon. I'll have to grab one. Maybe a couple. Maybe I'll give a few away during one of these uh, Seed of the Weeks. I found some beautiful purple nasturtiums and gladiolus. Oh, I hope my gladiolas come back this year. I had some pink and white ones that were really gorgeous. Didn't really match the house. Um, they weren't what the lady told me they were, but they were still gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, Elwanda. Appreciate you. Did you get your seeds, hon? Lemonade, it sounds like a good idea. I may have to do that. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Gail. I'm sorry, David. Oh, there he is. Duval is 74 degrees there. Ooh, you lucky duck. I wish. That's because he writes in all caps. Oh, I grew the 
Yeah, and it was very plentiful in seeds. Used them to stock up the seed exchange thing at the library. Some good to know. I donate a lot of my extra seeds to my uh, library seed bank as well. They they love me. They wait for me every year. <laughs> Hope everyone, David, I'm having a great weekend. It's just beginning, though. <laughs> Nightbot is weird. <laughs> I'll have to get rid of that, you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't know that's what it was going to do. I saw some job site markers at Lowe's supposed to write almost anything. Huh, never heard of them. Let us know how it works out. You putting out your seedlings outside like two hours a day to get them ready for the outside life. Yeah, you know, I'm supposed to do that. But because it's so rainy and kind of overcast here most of the time, most of the time I just throw them out on my front porch whenever I'm ready, leave them out there for a solid week. And then the next week they go in the garden. You got to have the will to live around here. Oh, you sugar. I have a sick kitty, so oh no, not the kitty. I'm sorry to hear that, Gail. <clears throat> 82 degrees where Crystal's at. Oh, that's even better. No, they didn't come yet. I wonder. All right, be patient. Well, I'll, I'm telling myself that. Be patient, they'll show up. Yeah, sending my best for your kitty, Gail. All right, um, <clears throat> so the varieties. We got our sweet, which are domestic and plain or regular, and they're most often used for garnish. Think um, how you sprinkle it on top of your deviled eggs. Then there's the smoked, which is usually uh, on the Spanish varieties of the paprika peppers. And um, I showed a video on how to do that. It's really easy. Not the commercial way, how you can do it at home. Then there's the hot, where you're using a spicy paprika pepper. And that will also include probably some of the pith and some of the seeds, because that's where you get some of the heat at. And then the Spanish ones, where they're harvested and dried over wood fires in traditional smokehouses. If you've not seen the uh, process with the smokehouses, it's really interesting. I found a couple videos when I was putting this all together and I watched them. It's interesting. It's interesting. And then there's the Hungarian paprika pepper, which is the one we most most are uh, commonly aware of. When we buy our paprika powder, it's usually the Hungarian. And that is the seasoning that in Hungary, they use it like salt and pepper. They, they keep it on the table. All righty. <clears throat> so the uses... So according to McCormick, who is not the authority, but they were the only ones who made any kind of claims, think of paprika as the gentler, gentler sweeter cousin of hot chili peppers. It enlivens your favorite dishes with fruity notes and a toasty red color without ever taking over the show. Picture that iconic dusting of bold color atop your deviled eggs. That's paprika. You'll find it in everything from barbecue sauce prepared rubs and marinades to Italian sausage, potato casseroles, cream sauces, and egg dishes. Paprika for me is like one of those spices that I just kind of toss in all the time. It's like I said, I don't find it to be especially hot. Um, and when I use it in such small amounts, it doesn't even seem to affect the flavor. I got to throw it on baked chicken just to give the chicken some color, stuff like that. Now, I don't do that with my smokes because of the time that it take, took to make my smoked paprika powder. Plus, it's just too good to be just willy-nilly throwing it around. But um, for my regular paprika powder that I make, yeah, I'll just throw that on anything. Recipes for use. So, chicken paprika crash. If you've not had it, delicious when prepared, right? Deviled eggs, we've talked about that already. I must not be getting good paprika. I can't taste it at all. Oh, yeah, it does have a flavor. And 
obviously, especially if you make your own, because you're using whatever peppers you have grown yourself. And so you get to tailor the the flavor of it on your own. Hi there, retired or retired gardener. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the show. I'm almost wrapping up here with the um the uh, presentation on the paprika powder uh, or paprika pepper, and then we'll get into the giveaways. I got a five dollar cash up giveaway coming up from Lydia over at Best Yet Journey, and then I have um, a couple seed giveaways from me. All right, uh, paprika oven fries. I haven't tried this, but I saw that and I thought it looked good, so I put it in here to help me remember to give it a try. And then Cajun spice mix. Perfect for that. Perfect for that. And actually here, if you want to screenshot it, if you're interested, I give you a little recipe. It doesn't give you any um, measurements, but, you know, just use your better judgment. Milk and Honey Her Heritage Farm. Hello. Nice to see you here. Thank you for visiting. All right. And then if you would like to make your own DIY paprika powder, obviously I would tell you to go watch one of my videos on how to do that. But hello, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Hi. <laughs> um, but in general, you would just take two cups of dry peppers. And like I said before, you don't have to just use paprika peppers. You can use a bell pepper. You can use a chili pepper or Aleppo peppers. You grind the peppers up in a spice grinder or with a mortar and pestle. I've done both ways. Obviously, the uh, spice grinder is way easier. And then you store it in the airtight jar for up to six months. <clears throat> So the paprika is versatile and easy to make at home, the powder that is. Whether you're a seasoned cook or a novice, it's a spice you're sure to get some experience with using. Whether you're tossing it into a soup for flavor <clears throat> or sprinkling it on a dish for a pop of color, paprika has many uses in the kitchen and you're about to try one or all of those uses. Grow paprika peppers, you guys. And on that note, somebody is about to win some paprika pepper seeds from me. Two somebodies. Because I got two packs. You know, I just had to. <laughs> Notice I keep reiterating that. I had to go buy the pepper seeds. <laughs> it's for you guys that I do this, you know. It's not because I got any kind of seed addiction. No. <laughs> Oh, wait, I got, so I'll be doing three giveaways because I have three different paprika pepper varieties. I got the Alma, I got the Loot Shower, and the Fair Ozone. All right, question, is it possible to grind the mortar and pesto where it needs to be replaced? I've had mine about 15 years and I haven't had to replace it. Um, if anybody else has a different um, experience than that, do let us know in the comments. But grown with Hudson, I would say no. All righty, so. In the past, I was doing a pick a number, but I was not very good at seeing who did it, who picked the number first. So I'm gonna attempt to do the, uh, what's it called? Um, hey, Nikki, thanks for coming by. What's it called? The Oh, I forgot the name of it. Nikki, you would know. What's the name of the thing where you you can run the, it can pick a name for you for who wins? Oh, you're listening on the road? Okay. Does anybody know what's, oh. 
Is it YouTube comment picker? Is that what it is? We're going to try it. Pick a winner. <clears throat> Nikki, I was um, thinking about getting StreamYard giveaway. What? What? Where? But I was going to say, Nikki, I was thinking about, um, not thinking, I was planning on doing my spring outdoor project video here this coming week. I got uh, all my strawberries that I need to get out and i am already got half of my beds amended, but I got to finish up. You use the wheel. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, let's do copy. Paste your YouTube link here, fetch. Uh, okay, we'll do a keyword. If you want to win, oh, StreamYard giveaway tool if you're on StreamYard. I don't see it. I am a stream yard, but I don't see where I can. Is it under settings? No. Uh, edit? Uh, no. Uh-oh, something's happening. Okay, so um, if you want to win some paprika pepper seeds, type in the word hashtag paprika. P-A-P-R-I-K-A. -A. It's up there on the screen. I was in timeout, so I'm <laughs> typing the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, David. <laughs> Girl Dad, cooking up deliciousness. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Thank you for visiting. Appreciate you coming by. Type in hashtag paprika if you want to win some uh, paprika pepper seeds from me. I got three different varieties I'll be giving out today. Yeah. <laughs> David, you know the corner now, by you says. <laughs> Okay, so I'll hit continue. <clears throat> and it didn't work. <laughs> Please reload, okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Why did I think this was going to be easy? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Copy. Let's try this again. 
One more time. Paste, fetch. Well, that's not working. Okay. Um, we're going to have to do the numbers game, guys, because I don't know how to make this work. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm going to make the numbers, though, way smaller. So we're going to go, and I'll write it down here. Can you guys see? No. Uh, one through. Pick a number, one through 16. Oh, stop. Got it. Song, you got it. Check with me, guys. Was she the first one to get nine? I think I still have your address. <clears throat> so that was number one. For number two, um, we'll go uh, a number one through... Pick a number one through twenty five. By you, you called it. Yep. <laughs> Song's always winning. Veggie farming, you got it. Twenty three. All right, and that's veggie. And then we'll do pick a number one through 40. Not yet. One through forty. Nope. There it is. Who was that? Growing with Hudson. The number was thirty seven. All right. So Song, Veggie, and Hudson. I owe all three of you uh Paprika pepper seeds. They will also come with some additional seeds because I got them to spare. Congratulations to all three of you. Yay. Yahoo. All right. And then what else do we have? Oh, um, we have the giveaway for Miss Best Yet Journey. Uh Lydia, she was giving away uh, a $5 cash app or $5 PayPal, whichever you're interested in. <clears throat> so for that, um, I think she had me do a number the last time she was here as well. So we'll do that too, but we'll make it a higher number, give everybody. So let's say, let's see. One, two. All right, 
from Best Yet Journey, pick a number one through 25 to win a $5 cash app or a $5 PayPal. One through 25, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Song, you did it again. <laughs> the number was seven. <laughs> I chose that because that's how many letters are in the first part of her name. <laughs> Congratulations, Song, again. You are one lucky lady, I swear. That's awesome though. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, so um, my email address is up on the top of the screen there for the winners. Um, send me your mailing address if you won the seeds and some send me your cash app or your PayPal, whichever you prefer. And I will send you your five bucks. <laughs> Bye, you almost got you this time. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's good fortune must have rubbed off on you, right? Yeah. <laughs> he really is the winner, man. He he's every time I'm in anything where he's involved, he always ends up winning something. But he gives away a lot too. He's huge in the community. He's very generous. Yeah. All right, guys. Yes, congratulations to all of the winners. Yay. Thank you and great luck. Thank you, Hudson. And smash my thumbs. I appreciate that, Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Thank you so much. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this live. I didn't mean to kind of rush you, but it's like actually relatively nice out here today. Even though it's only 55 degrees, I want to go outside and get my hands dirty. I wish I had... um. The 80 degree weather some of you guys are having, but that's coming. Give me two months. <laughs> In the meantime, this is the best I could do. At least I got some sunshine. So I want to get out there and do a little Texas Lala. I didn't see you. I'm sorry, honey. Hi. Laura's Gardner Moore. Hello. Thank you for visiting. Um, so yeah, I want to get out there and get my hands dirty. Plant some strawberries. Happy gardening row. Same to you, by you sugar. 80 in Texas. Stop bragging, David. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm completely jealous. <laughs> yes, congratulations to everybody. You guys, don't forget to contact me if you were a winner. See you guys in a couple of weeks. Congratulations to all the winners and thanks to everybody for stopping by. And I'll do something about Nightbot. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>